Pearl Fishers is about three people. There's the baritone, the tenor, and the soprano. I'm the baritone playing Zurga, who is a sort of outcast who's come into this very superstitious village. Uh, Nadir is my old friend who took me into that village and was very nice about introducing me to the people and making sure that I was a part of everything. He and I fell out over the third character, the soprano, as always happens. The tenor and the baritone don't always get along, and it's usually a woman involved. Uh, this woman this time is uh, Layla, who's a priestess of Brahma, who's the god who makes us all so superstitious. The production uh, costumes and set design were by Sandra Rhodes, who Jesus Garcia, who's one of the tenors, one of the lead tenors in the show, he calls her the Betsy Johnson of opera. And having seen some of the production photos, I would, I'd agree. It's very, it's extremely colorful. It's very tropical, I guess, in a sense. My, my people are from Panama, so that's the way I think about it. It's kind of tropical. For being such a serious story, it actually adds a certain, for me, it adds a certain degree of levity to the whole thing that keeps it from being extremely dark. So you have all of these tremendous emotions happening, but you've also got this very light, almost whimsical in a way, color palette, which sort of adds an entirely new dimension to things. And it suits a lot of the music very well because the music is in a lot of ways exotic and sort of evocative of this otherworldly kind of Shangri-La type of place. It's something that you can come to and get lost in, or you can come to it and dissect all the individual relationships and sort of attack it from that standpoint. But however you come at art, however you come at music, this is a production that I think people will really enjoy.